having to carry the load is Ford. And then, of course, Sewell has got to play bigger than her 5'11 frame, which she does. Looks like an extra step, but Hermosa is in. That's why she's shooting almost 60%. They're all layups and four-footers. Part of the reason Coach Burnaby McNamee was so excited about this game to finally have an extra player, a post player, driving to the bucket again is Swartz. She leads all players with six. See Swartz again. She sees the screener starting to come up and head, so she decides to go the other way, split the paint, bring the ball alive, resulting in the offensive rebound and leaked out to Swartz for the layup at the other end. And here Fletcher answers with a three-point shot from beyond the arc. Down to Sewell, extra pass. Just a little bit behind Bass. And then fouled and in. Swartz feeling it. Fifth, 14, 15, and 16. And a chance for a four-point play. Takes to will my team to a win. Jalen Bats passed it out, didn't have the shot. Got Swartz beyond the arc. Clean. How quickly Georgia Tech's moving. Fletcher all the way around and in. And that took a triple screen by Georgia Tech's offensive players. Quite a few shots today, Dino, that on both ends have kind of rimmed in and rimmed out. Lids on the rim here in Boston College. Swartz. Not for Swartz, though. No, 21 for Swartz. Timmerin. Solid addition. Soul. Swartz. Extra pass. Back to Soul. And we're tied again. And college now going to work the shot clock. Down to six. And Timmerin. Oh, and she gets the whistle. Foul on Hermosa. From getting that feel-good moment. I mean, Timmerin here had the larger Hermosa on her. Tech at one point had won seven straight in the ACC. Celebrating Black History Month on the special day. How about celebrating a Boston College victory?